What's up guys, so in today's video I'm going to be going ahead and show you guys how to go ahead and complete Scary Sushi. This is going to be a little tutorial for you guys on how I complete the game. People have their own methods, but this one's mine and how I'm going to do it, so yeah. Now this is normal mode, so I'm not going to be doing hard in today's video. If you guys do want me to do that, go ahead and let me know. We're going to go ahead and hop into the game and I'll see you guys when the first course starts. So for the first round, we're actually being told what we need to do and where everything is at the moment. We do have to watch out for the janitor who is basically just a monster. He only goes one way, by the way. But you guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch me and what I'm going to be doing when it starts. So... So once you guys have all your ingredients, go ahead and go to your assigned station. Do not try to use a different one or someone else's. Go ahead and grab the rice and plate it up. And we're going to go ahead and put it on the tray in the front where it's basically going to be taken. And that'll count as your first meal. Now, while I was coming out here, you guys can actually go ahead and see the janitor right here walking towards me. <laughs> Anyways, go. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where Nori is. If you guys didn't know, it's just the green stuff right here in the water. So once you guys are back at your station, go ahead and use the Nori machine and basically it's the quickest item, I believe. And then we do what we did last time, go ahead and plate it up and put it up at the front. So on your third dish, they're going to go ahead and combine rice and Nori. So that's actually what we're going to be doing. We need both Nori and rice. So go ahead and grab those and walk back to your station. Now, in order to combine both things together, just go ahead and plate it up, but do not pick the plate up. Just go ahead and stack it on top of each other and you should have sushi now. So go ahead and put that on the tray. And that's basically how you can go ahead and complete the course one. So now moving on to course two, they're actually gonna add a third ingredient, which is going to be fishes. There are different ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what to do. As you can see, there is a fish farm, which you need to watch out for is there's actually a monster in the water. If you do touch the water, you can get away from it, unfortunately. As you guys can see, there are these platforms right here. These go up and down. So just go ahead and wait for it if you see it turning red, cause you don't wanna fall in the water since you can't get away from it. But anyways, go ahead and watch what I'm about to do. So I forgot to mention this, if you are standing inside of the hallway, he will follow you, but I'm going to go ahead and grab rice and I'm going to go ahead and grab the fish. You guys can do either or, it doesn't matter. But once you guys are inside of the fish room, as you can see, these little platforms are white right now and you can see they turn red and when they turn red, they're about to go down. So go ahead and wait and you guys can look around for what fish you need. Right now we need an eel, so I'm going to go ahead and go over here to grab my eel. Now, once you guys are back at your station, this is the cutting board for the vegetables and fish. This is the only thing you guys can actually use it on. And you guys know where to put the rice and nori. And that'll basically be how you guys can go ahead and complete course two. And now moving on to course three, this is going to be vegetables and stuff. We're going to go ahead and watch the cut scene, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys there are four doors. You want to stay away from the one that has radish in it. And there's going to be little rotations, so you are going to have to wait for it if it is rotating. Now, this is the monster right here you want to stay away from, but she does spawn in different doors. So just go ahead and just be careful for which door you open. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch me what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to explain some more stuff. when you guys are inside of the vegetable room what i like to do when i open the door is just open it and kind of back up sometimes because if you do walk too close the monster will kill you by the way i'm gonna go ahead and put the rotation map on screen so you guys can see which way it rotates so this can help you if you guys do find the carrot then you'll know it's next to the avocado and if it's next to the avocado you'll find the cucumber so that's basically how you can go ahead and find stuff All 
All right, so this is gonna be course four. This is actually gonna be our last one. So let's go ahead and follow me. I'm gonna show you guys what we have to do. This is the next ingredient, adding fish eggs, I believe it's called. Yeah, it's just this black stuff. Anyways, go ahead and follow me. As well as watch out for these puddles as they will slow you down. Go ahead and walk to the side and jump over them. So when you guys are in this room, you can get caught and die. So go ahead and just watch the flies. They're gonna try and pick you up in the spotlight. You can follow the pattern that I'm doing right now. I'm just waiting for them to pass by me and then I'm gonna move to the next one. So if you guys do need to wait under the shelf, go ahead and do that so you guys do not lose your life and have to go back to the beginning. So when you guys go ahead over here, go ahead and walk up to the machine and go ahead and pull a lever and we can go ahead and watch the fish eggs being made and then I'm gonna go ahead and skip to when it's done. Okay, so now the machine is done making it. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it now. You guys can also pull the lever twice to get two of them so you don't have to come back because you do have to run all the way back. Okay, so this is the last part of the game. So where you guys are about to win soon. So go ahead and follow me for this because it is gonna be a chase scene. We are gonna have two of them. Just go ahead and follow me though so you guys don't die and have to restart. No, I did skip to the chase scene. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we need to do. Go ahead and give yourself some time to go ahead and watch the platforms because they're gonna go ahead and fall. So don't take it too slow though because you don't want to get caught. Just go ahead and watch me. that's how you guys go ahead and beat scary sushi if you did enjoy please like and subscribe i greatly appreciate it as well as join my discord below and i will see you guys in my next video